Hello everyone. Welcome to Inner Peace Night Time. Again, we come together once in this week to start our bedtime meditation. So how have you been? Did you practice meditation regularly? Do you have a good weekend? I hope you enjoy your time with me tonight. Let's see who has joining us at the moment. Whether you are new or regular, please don't be shy. Leave the comments so we can get to know and remember each other. Hello, Esther. Thank you for joining. Uh, Miss Yumi. Okay, very good. Well, <clears throat> thank you for joining tonight as well. Today I have some tip that I'd like to share from our master. It is about one Dhammadayada. What is that? Well, I'll explain in that in a few moments after this. So, if you are regular and enjoy the time, well, please stay tuned because there is some announcement at the end as well. <clears throat> so let's take a look for our Inner Peace Nighttime program today. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Inner Peace Nighttime on July 3rd of 2023. Before we go to that tip of the night, well, you know, I have to sell my stuff. Well, there's some announcement to be made as well too. Just want to let you know that on this coming Sunday on July 9, Inner Peace Sunday will be cancelled. It is due to my trip to Manchester. It's on the way back, so I don't think I could make it on that day. And it's better to let you know because on this whole weekend, I will be in Manchester. Since there is some kind of super new event going on in one of the Thai Buddhist monks that is a friend in our temple. And they invite us to go help manage and organize. So therefore, everyone in the temple are going there. Thus, I won't be able to do the broadcast. So let you know ahead of time. In a pitch Sunday, please take a note that it will be cancelled on July 9. Okay, but it will be resumed on the weeks after. So, that in case you're wondering if there's any way that you can get a news or update, so just have to do by follow our Facebook page in the page Sunday and subscribe. Or I'll say sometime when there's a post or share, maybe if it doesn't hurt much, just press like or some doing some activity with the page. Just one or twice, so the algorithm in Facebook will acknowledge, oh, that you're interested in this, so they can show the feed. But if you don't do anything, you just press like, oh, believe me or not, it will be not showing on your Facebook page. Had you ever checked how many friends that you have and what is showing on your feed? <laughs> I would say, I got now, I have 1,000 friends, but that less than 20 show on my feed. I don't know why the other gone. <laughs> Either way, something like that. So that's probably how it goes. But anyway, do some activity. It can help you to see our update new. If you don't really know, or if you don't really find a way just check on it press just search great teaching and should you should, should show that and you get into that page okay now to our youtube channel also we have um all the record like to live night will be also posting after the event is over so you can watch later on at your own convenient time don't forget to press the bell to get notification whenever there is a new video up update okay and here this is my weekly online schedule in case you don't know Sunday 2 p.m. like I mentioned earlier that this week is cancelled Monday and Wednesday at this time we have in the peace night time in the last week we do uh, uh, last year we do Friday too but as you can see <coughs> my schedule begin to be quite very tight but still enjoy your time uh, my, my time with you also that's why I'm still keep continuing the program but on Tuesday it will be 2.30 because I join with the other team and my schedule is on Tuesday in the afternoon at 2.30 with the Clubhouse app, in case you're wondering what it is. It's an application that's only live audio chair as a meeting. People sharing what they have opinion, kind of like social gathering in the topic that each individual are interested and in this case it's meditation and live. So if you'd like to join me at that time or you can watch the rerun, make sure you join the Clubhouse, get uh, check out on my uh, account here follow you can get the to be friend or get notification so whenever i'm live they will be linking in when you can join it at, at the time and that's come to our tip of the night one dhammadayada what is dhammadayada it is the name is the program that for young men to ordain as a life uh, as <coughs> 
young young man who ordained in Buddhism, training in our temple. We call this program Dhamma Da Yada. Dhamma is the teaching of the Buddha. Yada is mean the hair. So that's compiled the two terms. It mean the air of the Dhamma of the Buddha. All right. So what did he, the master say in here? It's more like a story, though. But anyway, I'll explain the story how it goes. One day, one Dhammadayada lived along the border of Thailand and Myanmar. He has faith, walk across many mountains to be ordained in Buddhism. After ordination, he had intention to train himself. One day, he sat still, seeing Dhamma sphere, Buddha's image. And saw them at all times. He felt calm and happy. He had the intention to prolong his ordination. He did not want to disrupt. He understood that true it happiness come from the still mind. There is one saying of the Buddha's teaching that is quite well supporting to this reference. The Buddha taught something like this. My saying may be quite not exact of the translation, but it's somewhere along this way. It means. No happiness surpass inner peace. Ah, no greater happiness surpass inner peace. <clears throat> ah, I'm not inner peace. Stillness of the mind. My bad. <clears throat> no other happiness surpass. No greater happiness surpass the stillness of mind. Ah, this is something. That the Buddha has taught or speaking. So in here, what the Buddha, uh, what the Master meant that there was one guy he just want to ordain, but oh, just want to let you know for your background information, to be ordained in Buddhism, uh, is it may be easy, look easy. Just go to the temple, announce that you want to ordain, bring the rope, the monks chanting. The process is e is not easy. <coughs> It had to be a lot of learning and doing a lot of process along the way. Some uh, with the traditions, with the strict temple, where they go with a lot of tradition, it's even more difficult to training. So to have just one person, but during along the way when they train, if they have a good uh, ex program that allow them to learn not only dhamma but practice meditation, this would be quite benefit. But if just You just ordain and didn't do anything for a short time, kind of like ordain for a short time and then this rope. It would not having, uh, you will not understand or go deeper much. But the program in here, the Maya Dada, at least one month, so people will get a way to learn and experience deeper. And for this guy, even though he lived for quite in the border of Thailand, he has to walk because you know there is no car that can go into the mountain quite that easily. So he walk e d across the border many mountain. And then he walk e d there. He o r d i n because when he o r d i n not the process is that difficult, but is also expensive. But this program is free, so he walk e d across many mountain just to joy. So when he joy, he want to explain what is to be a monk is like. And so he doing so act the teaching monk and the program train him, and thus he able to meditate and see the. Inner peace. I would like to say on that part, but in here explaining like the Dharma sphere and the Buddha image. This regard, what they are, <clears throat> it only come when the mind become totally still, like it or not. But I'm not gonna say what it's like. But at the very least, you got the point that when your mind still, this is the process that it gonna be show to you into your meditation. All right, <clears throat> but the thing is, he able to maintain this experience at all times. He always felt calm and happy along his pro uh, the time when he joined the program. That's allow him to want to continue longer than just only one month training. And he don't want to disrupt because now he find that there is true happiness. Before he may be thinking he want to be rich and successful so he can be happy, but this when he don't want anything, just be still, and he want only more, nothing more but to like, be a monk. And that's the story that the master has shared. <clears throat> and so, believe it or not, you might have to prove that through the practice together tonight through our meditation. So, are you ready, everyone? We have spending quite enough time of this explanation. Well, 
we can start now. So before we're going to do that, check yourself three things. Number one, your mobile phone, make sure it is in silent or at the very least, it don't disturb your inner peace. Number two, toilet. Check if you want to use it or not. And last but not least, make sure that the room you meditating is peaceful and quiet and you are all set, good to go. Let's see, whoever is joining us now, oh, not many today because probably a lot of things going on and it's summer, you know. It's July 4th, it's a long weekend. So I'm expecting a lot of people going to go out and it's summer. However, in UK, even though it's summer, I don't know why it's turned out to be very cold today. It's right now windy, raining and 17 degrees. <laughs> no sun neither. Well, hopefully it's get better tomorrow so we don't have to experience cold in our summer. All right, everyone. Ah, Miss Kathleen, good to see you. Thank you for joining. Now, as the three of us are ready, so let's not waste our time any longer. Then let's begin our inner peace moment. <coughs> All right, now let's begin our inner peace moment. So let's start by finding yourself sitting relaxed in the most comfortable position without any tension on your body. And gently close your eyes, feeling as if you are about to fall asleep. Relax every single part of your body, beginning from the top of your head. Relax down to forehead, eyebrows and eyelids. No need to use your eyes. We close them down to disconnect from any distraction that may arise. If you feel that your eyelids are closing all the way, reopen your eyes or close them down loosely. Leave the room for some light so you may maintain the awareness inside. Making your face feeling soft Why clear the thought in your head Make it feel light Then continue down to the neck Back and body Allowing yourself breathing more easily. Continue to relax further from your hip to your legs and knees. Down to the tips of your toes. Spending a few moments adjusting the body. When you're adjusting yourself properly, you would be content and enjoy to sit right here with everyone else at this moment.
continue to relax once you are done adjusting the body continue on with the mind begin by imagine that you are sitting alone in a place that you like to be by yourself somewhere that make you feel calm and peaceful feeling like you are at your own home and no one else to disturb or bother you Then take a deep breath, bring back the mind gently, slowly rest it inside at any point where you feel just right to rest the mind within the body. Let the mind enjoy its freedom and stay it inside at the place where you resting the mind. Continue on allowing the mind to stay within by lightly imagine the sun let the sun stay with the mind inside so the mind can be with the brighting sun while your whole body is relaxed truly Maintain the observation. Use your feeling. Should the thought arise or disturb your inner peace, lightly, lightly imagine that you are alone. Reciting the mantra at your own pace. You can use the mantra if you like. Reciting them inside the mind to help you focus and calm down. And the mantra is... Sama Arahang Sama Arahang Continue reciting the mantra over and over until the sound of mantra fades away or disappear. Let's take our time in this moment, finding ourselves in a peace together or on our own. Continue on until the appropriate time in silence.
stay and still as our mind gradually come toward inner peace inside <coughs> inner peace and joy would arise fill into the mind allow the mind to be open freely with positivity so sharing this feeling begin by sending loving kindness expand your feeling from yourself to family and friends wishing them all to be happy forevermore for those who are suffering may they be happy and for those who are already happy may they be happier spending the last few moments spread loving kindness
กระดีปลา slowly breathing out allow the mind to continue resting inside so tonight you can be mindful and stay with inner peace Then slowly, gently, open your eyes. สัพพุทธานุภาเวนะสัพพธรรมานุภาเวนะสัพพสังขานุภาเวนะสัทธาโสตีหะวันตุเตเราคัมบักเฮเบรวันพบยูเอ็นจอยยูอินเนอร์พีสโมเมนต์วิดมีทูไนท์ซูอัลลาวมีทูเช็คยูโปรเกรสเมดิเทชันซูอิฟยูอาร์เลกูลายูแคนลีฟเดอะคอมเมนต์บัตอิฟยูอาร์นิวลีฟคอมเมนต์แอสฟอลโล่อิฟยูเอ็กซ์เพรียนไบรเนสนอมอิฟยูเอ็กซ์เพรียนรีแลกซ์เซชันลีฟเดอะคอมเมนต์แอสวันอิฟยูเอ็กซ์เพรียนส์ฟีลิงยูบอดี้สไลท์หรือทันทันสเปรนหรือดิสเพีร์ If and time move by very fast, leave the comment as two. If you experience brightness, joy, feeling like you don't want to quit meditation, leave the comment as three. Anything else that I didn't mention, leave the comment as four, and I'll get back to you when I see what it's like. I explain too, okay? All right, let's see who is chatting with us at the moment. From Miss Yumi, two, very good. Maintain the standard and also good meditation. Thank you very much for sharing, Miss Ashta. Three. All right. Anyone else beside this? Miss hmm. Kathleen, are you there? <laughs> well, when you practice meditation, as it is sometimes good, sometimes bad, it is something that we can avoid because in our day, it's always kind of like um our daily life up and down too. So meditation experience of also affect with the quality of mind at the time. Ah, Miss Sana E one, thank you. Very good. Anyone else? So when you practice like this, don't expect thing. And also, when you practice meditation, if you can do longer than now, that's even better. Because each time you meditate is always new, and if you get experience like this, sometime. Like for example, you are able to enjoy relax for a long time, maybe 10 minutes more. If you feel like that, let the mind last longer. It could increase from 10 to 11 or 12 minutes, but all in all, it gradually come and help you improve. Ah, Miss g r o y m a i is one. Okay, thank you for sharing. When it's like this, it is showing now that the more you practice meditation, the quality of inner peace. I mean, your mind, your meditation experience will be improved too. But it don't come instantly. It takes some time. So also, don't rush. Enjoy your time in every moment. Be with the present, and you shall be fine. But if you're lazy, you're gonna have to pay the consequence by, well, you know, starting over every time. Not much damage, but at the very least. You will see now how important it is to take care of your mind, kind of like when you take shower every day. So if you had to take shower for a week, how would it feel like? Very stink and dirty, isn't it? Especially the hair part. So therefore, same thing with meditation. If you take longer time and you don't take a shower for many days, take longer time to clean too. So same thing for the mind. If the mind cannot find inner peace in short period of time, that because it has not been practicing regularly. So keep that in mind, and I think it's about time for us to leave. So I hope to see you again in next inner peace night time. Before we end, here some more announcement at the end. For those of you who interest like um, audio meditation and looking for meditation app, well, I suggest use this one, one of the most popular one around the world, Insight Timer, meditation app that many people use. You can check out my account here for. 
the name LP p i s i t GDM. Don't forget to follow. Okay, so we can be friend. And tomorrow is full moon meditation at my temple. In case if you are somewhere around near, come drop by at our temple to join the full moon meditation in person. Okay, and that's all today for our tip of the inner peace night time. Hope to see you again in next inner peace night time this Wednesday. See you again, everyone. Good night.